All About Boats is proudly brought to you by Aussie Boat Loans. Real people, real results. Wayne Ritchie's, Australia's leading retailer of water sports equipment. Regal Marine, providing quality service and boats to the boating and leisure industry. Australian Integrated Marine, the marine electrical specialists. Fusion Entertainment, the marine entertainment standard. Nortec Marine, your one-stop shop. Core Lighting, Bundura Boat Upholstery and Fluid Core Weightboarding Towers and Accessories. Join us this week as we bring you the latest boat releases, handy boating tips and lots of new and innovative boating accessories on the market. It's all aboard, above and below on All About Boats. Time to check out the latest boat releases in the Boatyard. Behind me here is the Riviera 5000 Sport Yacht. It's 55 feet long, weighs about 17 tonnes and is powered by two Cummins 600 horsepower Zeus engines. A few special features about this boat, um, it has a hydraulic swim platform, an electric garage where the tender boat is stored, it has an uh, electric table that can turn into a sun pad. The barbecue is a great spot out the back here. Uh, if you burn anything you can throw it straight in the water. The fish love that. This boat is uh, equipped with three bedrooms, it has a master at the front with an ensuite, uh, it has a, a guest bunk room and it also has another bedroom full width under the saloon. A lot of these boats have desalination plants on them. They basically turn salt water into fresh water. This particular boat, it's built in. This boat holds a lot of appeal to all walks of life. Um, it's a great family boat. It's got plenty of bedrooms on board. It's a great day boat for the bay, for playing on, but it's also a very comfortable boat to stay overnight. A lot of our clients use a boat like this as their city apartment. You can stay in a berth in the Yarra River for $49 a night and you have power and water, and you've got your own luxury apartment right in the city. In terms of uh, driving a boat like this, all you need, in Victoria anyway, is a boat driver's licence. And we find that a lot of our customers find a boat like this easier to handle than, say, a small single outboard boat. This one has joystick control. It has pod drives, which are individual propellers under the boat that can turn independently of each other, meaning this boat can go sideways, diagonally, it can spin on its own axis. And that can all be controlled through a joystick. Okay, gone are the days when you need to have paper charts spread out everywhere and rulers. These days, it's all touch screen. You have a, a display in front of you. You simply mark the waypoints or the points where you want the boat to turn on the screen. Set the autopilot, set the engines in gear at a, at a particular speed, and the boat will take itself to those destinations. It really has made uh, navigation accessible to the common to the common man g'day folks you know they talk in real estate about position 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 well in boats i like to say convenience 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 when it comes to boat storage it's all about convenience in my opinion this is the ultimate in storage you have your luxury boat sitting here in the water in a marina you have a car park not very far away from you, so you can take all the stuff from the car and bring it down to the boat every time you're coming to visit. But standing here on the back of this boat, you have a marina berth, it's all yours, you plug into water, electricity, and you enjoy all the creature comforts from home. This is convenient boating. If the wind's blowing really strongly, you don't have to worry about going outdoors. You can spend the time inside the boat. Perhaps you're bringing your laptop down and you're doing some work. You might be entertaining some guests. You might be just having a snooze or reading a book. Marina berth storage is the ultimate. Costs aren't enormous. You can either rent a berth for a period of time, perhaps a few months, six months, or even 12 months. Or you can buy a berth outright. There's some great investment reasons on why buying a berth is a really good investment decision. Besides that, you become your own landlord and you get to keep your boat in here. For those people that don't have a marina-based in-water boat, dry rack storage offers a terrific alternative. The benefits are that you can call up in advance and the marina will forklift your boat into the water for you, leave it tied up on the dock. You can simply come on down, 
jump in the boat and nick off and enjoy a great time on the water. When you return, tie it up on the jetty, the marina guys will forklift your boat back into the storage and you don't have to worry about it. Convenience boating, but it really only works for a trailer style of boat. When it comes to maintenance for a dry stored boat, ask the marina guys, they'll lift the boat out of the water for you and put it on a rack. You can give it a wash down and a nice clean, tidy up and ready for next time. Alternatively, come on down here midweek and just chill out, relax and give your boat a great clean. Typically, boats that are stored in a dry storage setup are always way cleaner than all the others because you know the owners come on down and potter around. It's a bit like a man cave really. The vast majority of marinas around the country offer a dry rack storage like right behind me or inside a big locked up storage shed. Either way, a lot of people ask the question, what happens if I want to go out of my boat really early? Let's say I want to go and catch the snapper while they're biting at 4am. 4 4 it's really easy to do. Simply call up the night before, they'll put the boat in the water for you and it'll be sitting on the visitor's dock ready for your arrival. And if you return after hours, same thing applies. Just leave it tied up on the visitor's dock and they'll put it away for you the next morning. So this is hard stand storage. A nice alternative if you want to keep one of the bigger boats on land rather than being in the water. Of course, by not being in the water, you don't have to anti-foul the boat and there's certainly a lot less in-water maintenance that's required. But this offers a great alternative. Nothing like keeping it on terra firma and even putting a cover on her to protect her from the harsh sun and those rotten seagulls. So this is the alternative, a simple trailer park spot where what you rent is nothing more than the concrete that I'm standing on. It's a car parking spot, effectively, that you rent on a monthly, fortnightly, or even annual basis. The benefit of the trailer park spot is that you can launch and retrieve your boat yourself at your own leisure. Access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. By using the marina's private boat ramps, you can launch and retrieve at your leisure. That means on that perfect day, 30 degrees plus, the sun is shining, it's a great day to go boating. You don't have to go down to the public boat ramp that seems like every other person has the same idea that you have. Launch and retrieve off a private ramp that is never crowded. Whilst the boat is here on dry land, you want to make sure she's well protected. Boats can be quite susceptible to the harsh outdoors, but by putting a cover on her and washing her on a regular basis ensures she's going to look like brand new. What we're finding is a really new and novel idea for storage is to find a self-storage complex. There's plenty of them opening up. Typically, they're opening up alongside beachside and bayside suburbs where holiday makers go. That means you can leave the boat or the caravan inside a completely secured environment. 24 hour access means that you've got a location to store her when you don't have. Now, perhaps your garage isn't big enough at home. Perhaps you're living in an apartment. Maybe you simply just don't want to have the boat at home. Self-storage is a terrific idea that is inexpensive and completely convenient. Hello, my name's Lawrence Hoare. Today we're here down at Preston at Ski Force Nautique. We're here today to show you both the Nautique G23 and the Nautique Ski 200, both of which will feature predominantly at this year's Moomba Masters here in Melbourne on March 4th and 9th at the Yarra River. The Moomba Masters is a free family event held on Labor Day every year at the Yarra River. The actual event itself is an invitational international event that brings together both the world's best skiers, wakeboarders, jump skiers and trick skiers. The Moomba Masters has now incorporated the internationally recognised Nautique Wake Games from the USA. Riders include Danny Haaf, Mike Dowdy and also Bob Sovan. In the women's division we also have Australia's own Chloe Mills, Megan Ethel and Ramey Merritt. This year if you're coming down to the Moomba Masters in Melbourne, you'll be able to see the boat behind me which is the Nautique G23 which will be pulling all of the major wakeboard events. The Nautique G23 pumps out a massive ballast wash. We're looking at 1.3 tonne just in factory ballast and that's before any fuel people are actually in the boat. For the last two years it's received the Riders Choice Awards internationally and is always a huge draw card to such events as the Moomba Masters. Inside the boat you'll find premium marine audio manufactured by Polk, all of which which is Bluetooth connectivity, USB, FM radio, you can even check your weather. The boat itself has enough seating for up to 16 passengers and also has a higher accessory storage than any other wakeboarding boat on the market. 
Other popular options include LED cup holder lights, the reversible stern seat lounge, and also Nortec's famous Nortec surf system. The engine that's utilised in the Moomba Masters each year in Melbourne is a supercharged Cadillac 6.2 litre V8 made by PCM in USA. The G23 itself weighs a whopping two and a half tonne with a huge amount of ballast storage. For those who love their wake surfing and wakeboarding, the Nautique G23 is definitely the desired boat of choice. Also at the Moomba Masters this year, we'll also see the Nautique Ski 200, acclaimed as the world's best ski and barefooting boat, with world records up into the 15s. This year at the Moomba Masters, the Nautique Ski 200 will be pulling the jump, trick and slum events. The boat itself is fitted with a 409 horsepower 6 litre V8 by PCM Engines USA. The Ski 200 is renowned worldwide as the flattest, softest wash that a slalom or trick skier can get. Some of the key features for the Nautique Ski 200 include the Xerof GPS cruise control system, also the rear saddlebag locker storage for skis, and also the Bluetooth connectivity with the Polk Marine Audio. For more information regarding the Moomba Masters or Nautique, you can go to resources such as nautique.com or the Moomba Masters website on your screen now. All right, now it is time to pimp your boat. And with me, I have Adam from Bundura Boat Upholstery. G'day, Adam. G'day. All right, now, this week we're talking biminis. I want a bimini for my boat. How do I go about it? Well, there's lots of different ways that we make biminis in Bundura Boat Upholstery. So depending on what type of boat you have, depends on what type of bimini you get. We custom make them to each customer's particular needs, which is really important. The easiest way is to either contact us um, we can speak about what your requirements are, build it to exactly how you want, and then we go, it's pretty straightforward. Just tell us a little bit about the bimini that we're going to be fitting today. So the bimini that we're fitting is a welded style bimini to a fluid core T2 stealth tower. It's got a lifetime warranty on the actual frame itself. It's a 25 mil tube welded in three structured points, which makes it really strong. They have a full lifetime warranty on the actual bimini frame itself. The material that's covered in a umbrella acrylic material, which is the best material you can get in the world. Um, they provide heaps of shade, they're really strong. Um, they have a pocket for the extra rope that comes off the tower, which is another safe thing, you don't want anything hanging around. And yeah, they just look really cool as well. If I've got a bimini that's seen better days, can it be refurbished? How's that work? Definitely, there's lots of ways we can fix it. Whether it needs new bars, we can remake the frame, or it needs a new cover, we can do that. Or if you need a whole new thing, we do it all. So, any repairs, all that stuff, bring them down and we sort it out. Okay, so if people want more information on the biminis that you provide here at Bundura Boat Upholstery, how do they get that info? So you go to our website at www.boatupholstery.com.au or check out our Facebook page, Bundura Boat Upholstery, or yeah, just give us a call. Fantastic, so if you want more information, jump online. A lot of you viewers at home might ride in rivers or lakes. Now, the rules vary slightly if you're in the open coastal waters. And Amber Wing, she's got some advice for us. Amber. The main thing would be just be aware of, you know, the other boaters. The rivers get really busy. Um, there's plenty of channel markers, so ensure you stay within the channels. And um, there's different speed zones and, you know, no wake zones and no ski zones. So be aware of those and, you know, in your local area, ensure you know the rules of um, your waterways. Amber, in the grand scheme of things, wakeboarding is still relatively new. Do you have any great advice for some newcomers into the sport on how to drive? Um, when you're driving the boat, um, you know, every rider wants to have the smoothest conditions as possible. So uh, when a rider falls off, you want to stop the boat, do a slow turn. Don't accelerate and do power turns to pick up your rider. Um, because you're eventually going to hit those rollers and it just, you know, creates rough water for everyone. And also just being really aware of who's in the water and what other boats are around because when people have fallen off, you just want to make sure to avoid them and, you know, keep a lot of distance because you just want to be safe out there. Amber, now before we get into the boat, what are some of the key things that we need to do before we drop the boat in the water? Before you have the boat lined up in the queue to put your boat in the water, you want to make sure that all the gear's in the boat. You know, you've got your cover off, you check the, for the plug or the bung, um, and then you unhook the nose of the boat as long as your boat's not on rollers. If your boat's on rollers, make sure you back the boat in first and then unhook.
It's time for some fun on the water as we talk all about water sports. Tubing is a fun activity for kids and adults. Here at Wayne Ritchie's we have plenty to choose from. So this is one of the entry level tubes we have. Uh, it's just a basic donut shape. Uh, so the kids can sit inside it, young kids, and then the adults can lay on top of it. The handle is really, really strong, double stitched, and they have a neoprene under your fingers so they're nice and soft on your fingers. Uh, the tube is not so, so big, so it's not as stable. You'll probably fall out of it a few more times, but that's just part of the fun. If you want something more stable on the water, uh, something like this would be good. It's got three seats that you can sit in. It's got a backrest. It's a lot more stable on cruisy ride. So next in line, we have something like this, it's something a little bit more extreme. It's just like a flat bed. Uh, it has lots of handles so everyone can get on it. Fits three people. A little bit more exciting, you're more likely to fall off this one. You can do big whips and it goes nice and fast. If you're out with a bunch of friends and you want to all get on the tube at the same time, this is perfect for you. Hot Seat XL fits five people. Just a word of warning, you will need a big engine to tow this tube. So finally we've got something like the HO Supersonic. It's a bit of a different shape. It's a flat bed with wings on the side, so it's a little bit more stable. You can't roll out of it as easy in whips. It's got a backrest and two handles on each side, so really, really easy to ride, pretty fun. So something that everyone can get on. So to tow your tube, you're gonna need a good rope. Thinner ones like these will tow one or two people or two tubes each. Uh, and then when you're getting to the bigger tubes with more people, you're gonna need something thicker and stronger. So to pump up your tube, you're gonna need a pump. You can either go with a hand pump or an electric pump that you can plug into your 12 volt socket in your boat or car. For more information on tubes, visit our website or come and see us at one of our stores. Now here at All About Boats, we are all about boating safety. And when it comes to using your boat in low light conditions, say in the evening or early morning, you wanna make sure that your boat has sufficient exterior lighting. Well, today, Steve from Australian Integrated Marine is here to show us all about fitting LED lights to your boat. Now today we're installing two 18 watt LED floodlights from Core Lighting to each side of our wakeboarding tower. They're waterproof and provide 50,000 hours of bright light. Now this is useful where you might be pulling up at a jetty or a marina with insufficient lighting. It just ensures extra safety for you and your guests. Now Steve, tell us a little bit about the types of installations that you work on within the boating industry. Well Adam, all of our installations mainly these days are LED. Uh, that, that goes from the larger boats, the commercial, right down to tinnies. So it's virtually all LED and we only use good quality gear. So. so Steve, just tell us a couple of things that people should look out for when they're fitting these particular lights to their boat. Well Adam, because we're installing these fittings on a metal structure on the boat, we've got to make sure that both, both positive and negative are isolated from the fitting so that we don't get any current leakage down onto the main part of the vessel. Now today we're also installing a 60 watt LED light bar on the tower from Core Lighting. It's going to be facing forward to assist the driver with navigating safely. Now this particular light bar delivers a total of 5,400 lumens. So Steve, I've got two questions for you. What are lumens? And also what's the difference between a lumen and a watt when measuring light output? Well Adam, lumens are the actual light output of the fitting, how much light you get out of that, that light fitting. The wattage or watts is how much power that fitting consumes. The new LED lighting has a lower wattage and higher lumens, so it's much better for battery life and also you can run smaller cables to the fittings. Good. Now, if you want more information about any of the products we've talked about today or boating in general, of course head to our website allaboutboats.tv. Steve, thank you very much. Pleasure. G'day, I'm Scott from Nortec Marine. So you've just, just hit the boat at the boat ramp, you've got a little gel coat repair. First thing is to do, not panic. It's very fixable. To fix it, put Sigaflex in the repair. Don't put silicon in it, big misconception. Silicon ruins the repair, makes our job a lot harder and more expensive for you.
Okay, so if it's more than a chip in the boat and you've actually put a hole in the boat, you can see penetration through the other side of the boat. Boat out of the water straight away and straight to us. So if you do need the boat repaired, come down and see us at Nortec Marine. Otherwise, jump on our website at nortec.com.au. Thinking about buying a boat and need finance? Here are some valuable tips from the experts at Aussie Boat Loans on why you should consider loan protection. Owning a boat is an amazing experience, but it could become extremely stressful if you were suddenly in a situation where you couldn't meet the repayments on your boat loan. This could be due to illness, involuntary unemployment, or even death, in which case the responsibility for your loan would fall to your family. Loan protection ensures that if the worst happens, you and your family will be protected, and your loan repayments will continue to be met. And it's even possible to include the cost of loan protection in your finance package. For more tips and advice, contact Aussie Boat Loans. Real people, real results. Call 1300 769 999 or visit the website. Well, that's all for another week of All About Boats. For more information on boating, simply visit our website at allaboutboats.tv or check out our Facebook page.